Hey and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another special video for you guys. Um, I apologize for not uploading um, videos recently. I've been just super busy with work. I mean, if you're in the long care, you know the spring rush, how crazy things are. But um, I came into contact to one of the, to a gentleman who was doing lawn care and um, I was servicing a house. I was at the property servicing a house and it was just the next house over. So he came up to me and introduced himself. And uh, by the way, this guy was maybe in his 50, maybe 55 years old. And um, he was just asking me like, how did you get into business? Um, because I noticed he had a truck with a business name, let's call it Bob's Lawn Care. And um, he was asking, so like, how did you get to the business? And he was just telling me, okay, this is my first year in lawn care. Um, I he had a stand on skate. Um, it was a, a 42 inch um, lawnmower. And he told me, okay, you know, I was working at a warehouse and I was just tired of that and I wanted to start my own business. So he went and took a loan out and I don't remember, he said maybe pay like nine or 10,000, don't quote me on that, for this stand on lawnmower, um, was, which was a 42 inch I believe. So we, we sat there and we talked, <laughs> we talked for maybe half an hour and um, at that point, I had a choice to make, okay? Do I really educate him or do I just give him general, like, tell him but not really tell him the trick about it, business. And I was thinking like, okay, when I started this business, um, it was very hard and I wish that was, and I wish I knew some things um, that I know now. Um, and I chose like, okay, if I, if I was to restart all over, what would I want to know? So I took my time and I talked to this guy and um, explained to him what is important, how I got into the business, but I gave him five key things to take away and that's what I want to share with you guys and I hope you find this um, um, educational. And I, oh, not educational, but I find this is helpful to you. And um, so, without further ado, let's get into the video and we'll get right back into it. All right, so let's get right into the topic of what I want to talk about today. Um, so, yesterday I had a gentleman who was doing some mowing, the house next door to mine where I was. And um, so this guy um, waved off as I was mowing. Um, I finished servicing the property I was on and um, as I was loading my equipment, I was getting ready to close the tailgate of my trailer. I noticed this guy walked over and um, and I thought he was just, you know, gonna shake my hand and just say hi, how's business, you know, something very basic. Um, but this guy shared with me um, a lot. <laughs> We were we talked for about I want to say about forty five minutes to somebody I never seen before. So, um, to make the story short, so this guy um this was his first year, I'm um, starting in business. Um, so he told me he had five customers that he services, and most of them were family. Um, I noticed he had a brand new lawnmower. It was a stake stand on lawnmower. And I remember him telling me that he paid about 10,000 for that lawnmower. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I couldn't say that to his face, but I was thinking like, okay, so you have five customers and you have a $10,000 um, worth machine or $10,000 in debt, um, which it's not very smart, I don't think anyways. So, but anyways, he was a asking me like, how did you start your business? How did you get customers? And stuff like that. And um, if I had any advice for him. So, I wanna share some stuff that I told him 
Um, I can't obviously share everything, but I'm gonna pick a few things that I think are important um, if you are starting a business, okay? So the first thing I told him, like, um, I asked him, like, do you have um, insurance or anything like that? And he said, like, I don't have insurance, I don't have anything. Um, I just got five customers and I'm hoping to go in full time the whole going full time so this is what I share with them that I wish um, I knew when I started my business okay and for me I was very lucky to know this part um like I had a uh, two friends okay and um, one of them is a businessman and the other one is another um, guy who been in lawn care for I want to say about 15 to 20 years and um, so they share with me these things and I want to pass it on to you guys if it's it may help you if you're thinking to getting into lawn care business or any business in general okay the first thing I ask this guy is have you registered registered your business under our state which is Wisconsin and he said I have not registered my business so I told him if I were you, the first thing I would do is go and register your business. Um, it doesn't really cost you anything. It's basically free. And um, and he said, um, hmm, I did not even know about that. So I told him like, the reason why it's so important for you to register your business is um, if let's say if something was to happen um, as you're working out here and let's say, um, I don't know you hit a rock and there's somebody walking on the sidewalk and you hit him and the lawnmower throws that rock hits them and I don't know kill them or something <laughs> that's traumatic but let's say somebody gets hurt really bad and they go to the hospital and um, those that person can end up suing you okay and if they sue you you are there doing business but without registration you can be sued and you can lose everything guys you can lose your house you can lose your car everything so for me it's no brainer to register your business so if something was to happen like that they can go for your business but they can't go for your house or your personal belongings okay so that's the first thing i told him to do and um so the second thing i told him like um go and set up a bank account um, you need to have a bank account so like you can all your business money is going to that account and um, by registering your business that you will get an EN number or employee employer identification number which you need to register um, or oh, like when you register you get that number and when you open a bank account you use the IEN number so and that will allow you to if you have um, yard book or any software you can link that up you know your expenses you know what's coming in and what's going out so that's the second thing I told him okay and the third thing I told him like um, you need to get insurance okay I don't know about you but like I remember when I started my business insurance was around I think it was about five hundred dollars to um, get insurance for general liability insurance okay so I tried to get insurance and um, because in this um, career you, anything can happen okay you running lawnmowers all over people's yard and um, let's say if somebody leaves a toy and you hit and you break a window or something you need you need to have insurance for those type of things so I try and get a good insurance and just go to your local um, there's so many local insurance companies here and you can just call or go and talk to them and see what fits what you are doing guys um, it's like no brainer you need to have insurance okay and the fourth thing um, <laughs> I told him is um, I noticed he had um, his name on the truck and the phone number and lawn care and um, let's say 
I can't say his name, but let's say it was, it said like Bob's lawn care. And I told him, okay, I see that um, your name is your business. And I told him like, if you have a vision to do lawn care as a career, um, you may want to rethink since this is your first year, maybe changing the business, business name to something that is um, broad. So like, as you grow, it doesn't limit you to just lawn care, just um, have something like that allows you to grow as your company gets bigger, which that's what it wants, okay? And um, so he said, wow, he's, <laughs> he, um, he asked me like, do you have a, like a marketing or something degree? And I said, no, this is just things I've learned as um, I've been doing this business and um, I just think it will be helpful to you. So, so that was that. So the number four thing, I, the fourth thing is um, get a logo. Like um, you don't need to spend a lot of money on logo, but get something basic, but also something that is catchy. So like when somebody sees your truck, it, it stands up or your trailer. And, um, you know, he was very, like, wow, like, and he's like, okay, so how do I go about getting logo? Where do I then go? So I shared, like, um, where I went to get my, lo my truck logo on my trailer, and um, I told him, you know, like, this is where I went, this is what it cost, but, like, you don't need to do something this fancy you can do something for i don't know 500 dollars just at least to get you going until you are ready to invest more in your business and um so that's what i told him and the fifth thing i told him is um well i didn't tell him like i asked him so as you're doing this business um do you have your truck um, with just personal insurance? And he said, yes. And um, I also told him like, I think you should maybe reconsider, um, you know, registering your truck under your business account. And um, because <laughs> with that, you can like also write that uh, truck as a business. It's, um, expense like for insurance and stuff like that so those are some things that i shared with them and i hope you guys um find this video helpful and um i know it's not an exciting video but i hope um you get something out of it and um but but um leave your comments on the video and i hope to hear from you if there's something i left out please guys um, put in the comments and I'll be happy to respond and um, or if somebody comes across the video they can read and um, have the response from you there okay I hope you guys find this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one